Your Ultimate G can be used as an effective floor care system for cleaning, waxing, or buffing a variety of hard surface floors. To clean hard surface floors, make sure your Ultimate G is off and unplugged. Make sure the nozzle is set to its highest setting. Attach the hard floor pad. Plug the Ultimate G in. Lower the power nozzle until the brushes contact the floor. Make sure tech drive is in neutral and turn the Ultimate G on. You're ready to clean any hard surface floor. Heavily soiled floors may need additional cleaning, such as damp mopping. Your Ultimate G can also be used to wax hard surface floors. But before applying wax, first attach the buffer nozzle to the Ultimate G. Make sure the nozzle is at its highest setting. Unplug the Ultimate G from the wall outlet. Remove the power nozzle. Then drop the buffer nozzle onto the floor buffer brush. Push the belt up against the brush roll with your finger. While holding the belt in place, turn the belt lifter to the left or counterclockwise until the red arrows line up. The belt lifter hook will catch the belt and stretch it upward into the nozzle. Attach the nozzle. Turn the belt lifter to the right or clockwise until the green arrows line up. Lower the headlight hood. Make sure tech drive is in neutral by stepping on the end side of the power assist pedal. Your Ultimate G is now ready for use as a buffer. To wax hard floors, assemble the roller waxer applicator by pushing the two halves together until the spring-loaded pin clicks into place. Remove the wax roller from the canister. Insert the applicator into the open end of the wax roller. Pull the roller bag off the wax roller and save the packing bag. Use the roller to apply a small amount of Kirby Miracle Wax. It's not necessary to cover the entire floor completely. To remove the wax roller from the handle, push the wax roller into the packing bag. Grasp both the packing bag and roller firmly. Push the roller away from you to compress the retaining spring and pull the roller off the bar. Seal the bag to prevent premature drying and store in a safe place away from kids and pets. For easier storage, you can disconnect the roller handle by pressing down the spring-loaded pin and pulling the two ends apart. Then spread the wax with the floor buffer. Make sure tech drive is in neutral. Before you turn the Ultima G on, grasp it firmly by the handle. The floor buffer tends to move forward when the unit is on and the brush is in contact with the floor. Turn the Ultima G on. Lower the brush as far as the toe touch control will allow. To spread the wax, move the Ultima G over the floor as though you were cleaning a carpet, using slow, steady strokes. Wait five minutes. When dry, buff to a bright sheen. For marble floors, use the same procedures, but buff immediately, avoiding any drying time. Hard floors may be rebuffed any time it's necessary. Waxing is not necessary every time you buff. Apply additional wax when rebuffing does not produce desired results. Also, do not stand the Ultima G on end for polishing. Make sure tech drive is in neutral for polishing and do not use Kirby Miracle Wax on rubber or asphalt tiles. To order additional Kirby Miracle Wax, contact your local Kirby distributor. Or if distance or convenience is a factor, call Kirby at 1-800-437-7170. Your Ultimate G floor buffer can also be used as a carpet fluffer to reset the nap on a matted down carpet. Before placing the Ultimate G on the carpet, make sure tech drive is in neutral and the nozzle is all the way up. Plug in the power cord. Holding onto the handle firmly, start the Ultimate G and lower the nozzle one notch at a time until the brushes contact the carpet. Engage tech drive power assist and push the Ultimate G back and forth over the carpet. Lowering the brush too far may cause certain carpet types to fuzz. For that reason, use of the carpet fluffer is not recommended for delicate carpets. The turbo accessory system can be used for a wide variety of household jobs. It's a sander, a buffing unit, a scouring unit, 
and a massage unit. When using the turbo accessory system as a sander, it is always advisable to use safety glasses. The Ultimate G should be in the canister mode. To begin, unsnap the sander dust shroud at the rear of the tool and lift it off. Select the correct grade of sandpaper needed for the job. Fine paper for a smooth finish or coarse paper to clean rough surfaces or remove paint. Slide the sheet into the front clamp and lock the clamp lever. Tightly wrap the paper around the bottom of the turbo accessory and tuck the end into the rear clamp. With the turbo accessory on a level surface, wrap the dust shroud around the sander with the opening to the rear and snap it shut. Be sure no metal objects such as tacks or nails are sticking up from the surface to be sanded. They could damage the turbo accessory or cause sparks which could ignite dust. Insert the attachment hose into the end of the turbo accessory. Turn the Ultima G on, press the on button on top of the sander, and grip the sander at the front and rear. While applying light pressure, move the sander over the surface slowly, allowing it to do the work. Don't force it or lean heavily on it. That will only slow it down, and the tool works best at high speeds. Replace the disposable filter bag after extended sanding, because the dust is fine and tends to plug the pores of the bag. To use the turbo accessory as a polisher, attach the synthetic lamb's wool pad using the same procedure as attaching sandpaper. Use it for polishing hard waxed surfaces such as tabletops, paneling, and large flat surfaces. The dust shroud is not used when polishing. Attach the webbed nylon scouring pad using the same procedure as attaching the sandpaper. The turbo accessory now becomes a scouring tool. Use it for scouring hard surfaces. The dust shroud is not used with a scouring pad. For safety reasons, do not turbo scour painted surfaces. The turbo accessory massage unit is intended for use where massage is desired or medically recommended. To use the orbital massage unit, attach the soft vinyl pad to the turbo accessory using the same procedure as attaching the sandpaper, but the dust shroud is not necessary. Attach the suction control grip to the hose, and then attach the tool. Start the Ultimate G and just hit the on switch for a relaxing massage. To adjust the level of vibration, use the suction control. Do not use the orbital massager on swollen or inflamed areas, legs with varicose veins, areas where there are skin eruptions, unexplained calf pain, or anesthetic skin areas, unless first approved by your doctor. In addition, children must be supervised when using the massager. When connected to the attachment hose, the zip brush can be used for a wide variety of cleaning jobs, including carpeted steps, upholstery, or in the car. For best results, avoid pressing down heavily on the zip brush. Allow the brush to rotate at maximum speed by gently moving it side to side on the surface being cleaned. For safety's sake, do not insert fingers into the revolving brush area or push the release button while the brush is in motion. Keep the brush flat against the surface being cleaned. The brush can throw particles outward. Also, avoid using the zip brush on delicate fabrics. To clean the zip brush, remove it from the hose. Then use the hose to clean any lint from the brush. Press the button on the front of the brush to release the outer brush ring. Lift the center brush air turbine out of the tool and remove any particles or lint. Remove any particles left in the tool cavity. Place the brush air turbine back into the tool and turn it until the tabs drop into the slots. Hook the tab on the rear of the ring brush into the small opening of the tool and snap it back into place. 